Hey, what's up guys? I thought I'd do another video today to show you some of the things I picked up recently. Some of the stuff was from last weekend and I got some mail today. I'm going to start with this metal pack that I picked up at Target last Saturday. <clears throat> and recently my Target has a steelbook section, which I thought was pretty cool. They haven't had that before. And I like to uh, search town for steelbooks. So I go to Best Buy and Walmart, different places like that, looking for steel books, and usually they have them kind of mixed in between, mixed in with the other releases. It's about time they start putting it in a, in its own little certain spot. So the only one I picked up though was J.J. Uh, Abrams Star Trek, and I love this movie, and I, I love J.J. Abrams as a director. And uh, this is a Target exclusive metal pack. I do have the regular Blu-ray edition in the Amore case. I'll probably keep this one sealed because I already do watch it on Blu-ray, but I wanted to pick that up. Not sure if you're going to be able to see from my phone here, but that's uh, the cover is embossed, and it's pretty cool. So I picked that up for 10 bucks. I thought it was a good deal. I'm glad to add that to the collection. I picked up a couple of things at Barnes & Noble, and I had this on, I do have it on DVD. I never picked it up on Blu-ray, but I do love this movie. It's the two-disc collector's edition. I had a couple coupons, so I thought I would use them. I got two movies here. Um, very impressed with Frank Darabont, and he does some really good work. He did some good stuff on The Walking Dead. I, I love this movie. This has both versions, the black and white version and the color version, and it has all the documentaries and uh, supplements here. It's a two-disc set, and uh, it's pretty heavy. Glad to own that. And another one that I have a couple different times. I don't have this particular edition. This is Synapse um, Special Meltdown Edition of Street Trash. I have the DVD from Synapse and I have a Arrow Video DVD which is cut. And uh, glad to own this one here. This is the one that comes with the Tenafly Viper label. You can make your own Tenafly Viper bottle. And I, I'll, I plan on doing that. I don't know. I'll find a little wine bottle or something. Maybe I'll get a Mad Dog bottle and uh, put that on there. It's an all-region ABC. has a ton of special features. And this is a crazy kind of a splatter film, and I love it. It's a good film. Glad to add that to the collection. Got a pretty big box here from Screen Archives. And um, I pre-ordered some stuff. And I chose it. I chose my shipment to all come at one time. So some of the stuff was out already for a little bit, but I didn't get it till now because the last item became available to ship this week or late last week rather. So I got it today in the mail. I'll go through and show you guys some of the stuff here that I picked up. I got the the latest Code Red titles. And I know a lot of people have shown these off already over the last couple weeks, but I just got them today, and I'm glad to pick these up. This is Eye in the Labyrinth. Never saw the film before. Code Red Spy number 52. Not really sure what to expect from this film. It's Region A, rated R, and it's from 1972. So it looks like it's some kind of a slasher film. Glad to have that one. The second one here is another Code Red. This is the uncut edition of Knife for the Ladies, another slasher looking film. Never saw it. Spine number 53, Region A rated R. And this one is from. I'm not good with Roman numerals. It is at uh, 73, I think. Somebody may have to fact check me on that. I'm not really good with Roman numerals, but. And the third one here is White Ghost, another uncut version. Code Red Spy number 10. And that's the guy right there from House, the first House. As well as uh, he was the greatest American hero, William Catt. And this is Region ABC, unrated from 1987 and if I'm not mistaken wasn't there a scene like that in the movie house so that's white ghost check that out 
And then I got a couple of uh, Scorpion releasing titles that I was starting to think were going to go out of print. I don't have any facts on that. I just have a feeling, a gut feeling that this one here is going to be going out of print pretty soon. It's Killer Fish, Creature Feature type film. And um, this is uh, Region A from 1979. It's a PG horror film. And the second one is Seizure. These have been out for a while now. There's a spine. And this is also rated PG from 1973. And that's the little dude right there that played Tattoo on Fantasy Island. So I thought I'd pick these up and add them to the Scorpion collection. I'd like to beef that up a little bit more. And then I have, let's see, I can't remember. I picked up five Twilight Time releases here. This one's called The Big Heat. This is from the latest wave of the uh, new Twilight Time releases. I got all of them but one, which was, uh, I think it was called Hawaii or something like that. I did not pick that one up, but I got the other five here. This is a 1953 film, limited to 3,000 pieces, and it's a film noir, so I do love film noir. Glad to add that to the collection, and the uh, next one here is Cowboy. And I've been trying to beef up my Western collection, so I thought I'd go ahead and grab this one. 1958 color, limited to 3,000. So it does have some special features. What I like about these Twilight Times is they have the isolated score tracks too. So you can just listen to the score like it's a um, like an album. You can just listen to the score without watching the movie. I like that feature. And here is uh, La Bambola di Satana. And it's Satan's Doll, 1969, unrated. Limited to 3,000 pieces. Nice little Italian film, horror film. Here's a double feature, support, support your local sheriff and support your local gunfighter. James Garner Films. Limited to 3,000. First one is from 1969, the second one 1971. I thought I'd add that as a Western. Can't really go wrong with that. Twilight Time has some really nice releases. And here's another film noir where the sidewalk ends. Black and white from 1950, limited to 3,000. So very happy to add that to the collection. Uh, let's see here. The I got a couple DVDs from Bill Olson, which uh, I have a couple more packages coming from him too for that I'll probably unbox later this week. But the first one is um, Vengeance. It's a spaghetti western. And it's spine number 93, code red. And it's a film from 1968. Right around the time of spaghetti western glory, I guess. It's when Clint Eastwood was making his films and there's a lot of uh, westerns going on around that time. Looking forward to checking out Vengeance. And the second one here is a pre-apocalypse collection. And these are these are both uh, Dario Argento films. And the first one is Probability Zero. And the second one is Sullivan's Marauders, starring Lee Van Cleef. I was really glad to add this to the collection. I am a big fan of Dario Argento. And uh, curious to find out if there's more titles on the pre-apocalypse collection. I'd like to grab some more of those. I do have quite a few post-apocalyptic movies. Um, the next stuff I'll show you guys I picked up from eBay over the last week or so. This is one that's been out for a while. I bought this used on eBay. I think I paid... 13 bucks for this. Uh, I think when it first came out, it was over 30. It's a digi book of the Bl the Blomkamp movies, District 9, Chappie, and Elysium. And I really, I'm a really big fan of District 9. Haven't seen Chappie yet. I've heard mixed reviews about it. 
but this is a pretty nice thick digi book here. Shows some pretty nice photos and some little write-ups about the films and different artwork and stuff like that. I've seen Elysium. I thought it was pretty good and uh, I really like District 9. I know that's, that gets mixed reviews too. There's Matt Damon and Elysium. But it comes in uh, three different discs and they each have their own artwork. It's pretty cool. So I thought I'd pick that up for 13 bucks. Blomkamp 3 movie uh, digibook. And the second one I got is a DVD. This is from the Universal Legacy series and this is like uh, these are like uh, little hard boxes almost. Um, this is the latest edition I have from this series. I do have three other ones that I'm going to show you guys that I picked up previously that I've had in my collection for a while now. Sorry about all that noise. Um, the Bella Lugosi Dracula 75th Anniversary Edition. It comes in a really nice, uh, like a leatherette type edition here. And it just pops open and you have the disc. It comes with a little insert here. For the uh, Turner Classic Movies website and you can kind of uh, order some of the previous titles and different things and then here disc one you have the movie in full frame and disc two I believe is um, I'm not sure what disc two is okay disc two is the Spanish version and disc one has the film and then bonus features so it's a nice little package set here. And it has some pretty nice artwork in the back. Really nice artwork, actually. That's a nice scene right there. Bella Lugosi. And I'm not exactly sure how many titles were released in this type of set like this. But to show you some of the other ones I have, um, I have The Sting with Redford and Newman. And I have Psycho. And I think they have some of the other Universal Monsters. I think they had the Wolfman was one of them. And um, Mummy, I think, had one. I'm not exactly sure how many were total. This next little box here is a package I got from director Todd Sheets. This is his latest film. House of Forbidden Secrets, and I'll leave a link down below if you guys are interested in going to check this out. I do have the Blu-ray here, and I picked up the VHS and the clamshell. And uh, this movie sounded really good. I thought I'd, you know, pick it up. I like to uh, support some of the indie uh, horror filmmakers. It says, Welcome to Shadowview Manor. The tenants hear things at night. Some claim to see moving shadows and strange people. There are some very dark secrets lurking in the manor. A twisted past that is breaking through the boundaries of time, leaking into this dimension. An ancient evil that will finally break the veil between worlds and unleash an evil curse that will destroy everyone in the building, if it is not stopped. House of Forbidden Secrets is a masterwork of shadow, disturbing images, violence, and color, brought to us by a director who has a true vision of horror. Who knows his history of horror cinema and who in the end fills his films with both originality and nostalgia creating something unique for a low budget film and apparently that was a quote from imdb and uh this is definitely a movie that sounds interesting to me and uh, director todd sheets signed it up there at the top and it's a two disc set here and this is the extras disc, apparently, and this is the... That must be the feature. It says it was a film made in 2014, apparently, but um, I think it just now got a Blu-ray release. Could be wrong about that. The extra, extra features here is a, a Blu-ray 
R and it looked like the uh, feature was a press disc. And here at, on the uh, clamshell case VHS, there's the, uh, now it says 2013. I've been trying to pick up some VHS here and there to kind of add to my collection. And um, glad to add those to the collection. And the last thing I have here is a is an LP that I picked up on eBay for a really ridiculous price. This usually goes for about 30 to 40 bucks. I picked it up for 15 on eBay and it's sealed. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and show you guys what's inside. So I'm going to pause it here, take the uh, shrink wrap off, and we'll take a look. Okay, I got the shrink wrap off, and uh, those of you who know me know that I like to keep all these little extra pieces of paper and stuff that come with the releases, so I'll probably end up tucking that inside of here eventually after this video. And there's the cover. And uh, this is Silent Night, Deadly Night, by the way, from Death Waltz Records. And there's a really nice cover art. And on the inside you have um, newspaper clippings with some blood splatter. thought this was a really good pickup for 15 bucks. And here's the back. I'm not sure what the records look like. I don't remember. Looks like there's a little bit of a crease here. That's not that big of a deal to me. I would rather it wasn't there, but here you can see the. Uh, it is a. <laughs> it is a two LP. Let's see if I can pull this stuff out here. Looks like it comes with the poster. Pretty big poster. snug. I may have to pause it again. It's almost like it's jammed in there, so hold on a second, guys. Okay, so I got both of them out here, and then it also comes with like a liner notes. It's pretty thick. I'm not gonna go through all this stuff. I'm just gonna kind of skim through it really quick. And this is a really, really nice addition. It's probably one of my better editions now, and I think it's one of the cheaper ones I've found. There's some good deals to be had if you just if you keep an eye out for some of this stuff. And it looks like it's red and green wax. So yeah, there's the uh, disc one. And then there's disc two, the green one. It's pretty cool, red and green for Christmas colors. So that was my little haul for today. I do have some, I have an arrow video I'm going to be doing sometime this week. The American Horror Project. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of that and go through and show you what's all included in that box set. And I do have some other stuff coming this week, so I'll probably do another video or two by the end of the week. But let me know what you guys picked up recently and uh, hope you guys like the video. Leave any comments below and thanks for watching. Take care guys.